laugh, bro. All right. Come What's on, going man. on, YouTube? Hope you guys are having a great day today. So today in this video, we're going to be working on the Mark 7 here. Um, I got the ECS stainless steel clutch line. As you guys may know, the um, stock system has two delay valves in it. One swirl valve at the firewall, and then the bleeder block has like a little delay valve in it. So we got to pop that out, and then we got the ECS line. Boom, has a little clip Part too. number right here. Bang. Just in case y'all need it. Exactly, exactly. There you go. So yeah, first thing we gotta do, obviously guys, we gotta pop out the uh, air box so we can gain access to the bleeder block right underneath. And then for the swirl valve up there, obviously we gotta remove the battery so we have enough space to uh, get the line underneath the transmission um, bracket right there. Yeah, the, uh, the transmission bushing, whatever. You gonna tell me what tools, what tools you're gonna use, bro? Yeah, we're gonna need a, well, for my case, with the racing line, we're gonna have to take off T25 all around to remove it. But the stock gearbox um, just has rubber grommets. You just pull it up and remove this factory duct. Facts, so, facts, facts. Get it. A secondary air injection. All right, yeah. take that off. Yeah, it's so, taking the air box off it. Yeah, it's taking off the lid because it's like a two step process with this joint. Uh, the stupid coolant hood gets in the way, so you kind of have to like get it out a certain angle. Yeah. Damn, look at my uh, intake is collecting a lot of uh... dirty boy. All right, guys, so from the R600 intake, this is the OEM water drain hose. So, as you can see, it has like a special like attachment for the OEM air box. But the racing line, the bottom piece is smooth. So we're gonna have to like zip tie this on there. But we'll find a way, just so. There you go. Water drain hose. You can see the uh, bleeder block right there. And then the line that goes underneath the battery in the battery tray. So next thing we're gonna have to do is take, off the, take out the battery and the uh, tray right here. But this one doesn't have the handles. So I'm like, what the fuck? You strong, bro. Look at. Yo. Oh yeah, let's go! Strong, no gym, we got no the batteries gym. We got the out gym here. Right here. Let's... And then we will have a nice view of the uh, clutch line right there. The uh, battery tray out. Um, it was two 10 mils right here. And then there's one like on the far side near the firewall right here. And then you got one more right here. And then you just got like these clips. Like this clip right here is giving us big pain. Ended up breaking so Fuck that clip. And then, yeah, rubber grommets for the intake. Is this my grommet? This is my grommet for my intake, bro. Now we have access, clear access to uh, transmission and the line that goes underneath right here. With the battery in place, you could obviously you couldn't even put your hand in here. But yeah, let's get to it. That's the one he was talking about right here. Yep. Basically, um, you're just gonna see like a little metal part. Um, it's super hard to see. You can't even see it on camera, honestly. But you just kind of just get a little pick under there and then you pry up, pop up the retaining clip and then the clutch line will come off like that. Film this as best as we can. There's a really low light, but the ECS line is kind of just, it locks in. You can feel it lock in. And then you're gonna take the retaining clip right here and then just stick it in there so it locks it in place. Good to go. I gotta give a big shout out to the boy Benji, man. Let's go. Let's pop up that. It's like slipping everywhere, bro. There we go. There you go. Fucking MK7. Y'all already know. Shout out, Benji. Here you go. Yeah, with the it. Corona car meat, you know. There you go. Hey, we did all that for this. This is the delay valve that's inside the stock bleeder block. This is what like restricts the the fluid. As you can see, it has like a little tiny hole in it, and that's where the fluid actually passes through that little tiny hole. And now and it's, gone. it's gone. Good. We don't want that no more. Back in. That and I'm gonna push the locks down. It's locked in. Press that lock down. We're gonna hear it click. 
there you go now time to bleed the system and there we have it remove the bleeder block um, delay valve on the bleeder block ECS lines tucked in nice and neat deleted the hard line goes all the way to the master on the firewall look at this whole unit man it's crazy bro deleted that there's the stock line hard line it's just one straight line now speed system now we got this little homemade bottle filled it up with a little bit of a uh, new brake fluid and the hose is underneath the brake fluid and then you got like a little uh, vent hole right there on the top and then this hose is going to go over the bleeder so let's go ahead and bleed the system